Hi everyone and welcome back to Rachel's Enchanting Cakes. Now for this week's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to turn your Terry's Chocolate Orange into this super cute flower basket for Mother's Day. Again I have only used very basic shapes and equipment so as long as you have got at least one flower cutter in your collection then you can make this. As always, everything you need to know in a simple step-by-step -step format and excellent for any new beginner baker. Let's make a start. Using some liquid glucose, just brush a small amount on the top of your Terry's chocolate orange egg. Make sure it's placed on some baking paper as this part can get a little bit sticky. Using a small circle cutter, cut out a piece of dark brown fondant and place this where you've just added the liquid glucose on the top of the egg. Turn the chocolate orange upside down and cover the remainder of it with the liquid glucose. Taking exactly 150 gram of light brown fondant, I then add a very small amount of Tylo powder and knead this in. This will allow the fondant to set harder and turns it into gum paste. On a dusted down surface, roll out your gum paste doing your best to keep it in a circular shape. Gently place this over your covered Terry's chocolate orange egg, negotiating the pleats from the top to the bottom. However, this time you want the excess gum paste to actually lay flat against the baking paper. Taking a large circle cutter, place this directly over the Terry's chocolate orange and right into the gum paste so that you create a rim. Remember, this will go lovely and hard once it's been left overnight to set. The basket weave effect is extremely easy to create. You want to roll out some even sized sausage shapes and start by placing one of them directly on the egg with some edible glue. I then just use a cocktail stick to add a few indentations. You then take another sausage shape and simply go in the opposite direction, so vertically across the one that you have just added. Miss a gap, do it again and repeat. We then move further up, add a vertical sausage shape, again going over this with the cocktail stick and filling in those gaps. I'm going to speed up all of this footage so that you can see just how easy it is to create this basket effect but it's very easy and we're just using simple shapes without any cutters. We are now going to make the handle. So for this roll out three sausage shapes and try to keep them an even size. Apply some edible glue and stick them all together and then simply twist them and wrap them around a cupcake cutter. You want to leave both the handle and the basket which wants to be left upside down just how you've made it overnight just to allow all of the gum paste to set. I then use different coloured fondants and different styled cutters. Now as mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, if you only have one sort of cutter that is fine, you can still create this beautiful flower basket. But the more you have, the more effective it will be. Simply cut out loads of different shapes in loads of different colours. I've even added a few butterflies and then we're going to apply them with some edible glue directly to the top. You can add as many different colours as you want. Maybe if you have a heart cutter in your collection, you could add a few love hearts. This is the best thing about all the cutters that you may be gathering. And if you are a beginner baker, trust me when I say eventually you'll have too many cutters that won't be getting used. So it's a great way to just to go through all of the different cutters that you've got and just be creative. Simply apply all of these and then we're going to add the handle. Now the handle will be lovely and hard because we've made this from gum paste. So I just apply this with some edible glue directly onto those fondant flowers that are still soft. This gives me something to actually push the handle into. And then if you just cut out just a few more flowers, you can just wrap them around the base of the handle on either side and also around the rim of that basket just to make it super pretty 
and it will help add extra support. Just leave this to one side and allow it to set. And it really is as easy as that. Once it had set, I placed this on a decorated cake drum and it's ready for Mother's Day. Happy baking, everyone. I really do hope I've helped you again today and I will be back soon with more new, completely free content.